Hey guys, this is Kevin at ChristianPhotoshops.com and today we're going to be doing a brand new Photoshop tutorial and it's going to be how to create this picture right here. Now this is a completed picture and I don't have time to go through um, step by step with everything but what I'm going to do is show you the breakdown of how I created this image and go layer by layer of all the edits I did and, and how you can do the same thing. Um, so we're not going to start from scratch and build it up. I'm just going to show you the finished project and uh, build it, um, break it down and show you layer by layer. So all of the pictures um, for this project are actually on our website that you can download for free. So go to christianphotoshops.com and then click on the free stock images button at the bottom and there's hundreds of pictures there and here are some of the pictures we're going to use. First of all, um, this picture right here, just of a, an old bridge over a little stream. And then this picture um, of a door. And this picture of a forest. And then finally, um, this picture of clouds. Um, we'll be using all four of those images. So here is our original project. And um, I've got it in about a couple dozen layers or so. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start at the beginning and then show you how it is. So let me go ahead and just uncheck all of these so they're all invisible. Okay, so the very first thing I did, I started with, was the, the forest scene. So I have a forest in the background and um, you can download that picture. Um, and then the very next thing I did was, um, since the since the background, the clouds is just kind of all um, washed out, it's all white and bright, I wanted to add a little bit of um, dark clouds to that. So what I did was I put the, the cloud layer right over the top of it, and um, I changed it to multiply. And then what I did, uh, as you can see here at the bottom, um, there's some problems with um, the, the dark part of the, the sky. So if you look at if you look at the original picture, you see all the clouds up here, but then you see the silhouette of the forest at the bottom. So I didn't want to have that in the picture. So all I did was I just added a layer mask and got rid of that. So now we just have clouds in the background, changed it to multiply, and now we have a little bit of character in the sky rather than that washed out look. All right, the next thing I did was I added this picture of the, um, the bridge and a little stream at the bottom. And um, so I wanted the stream and the water to be in the, the bottom of the picture, and uh, I wanted the forest in the background. So what I did was I made a layer mask, and uh, all I did was I more or less just chopped out the bridge and the top part of the picture, and I left the water down here at the bottom. So my mask, um, it, it pretty much erases the top part, and then... Um, then you painted back some of the trees right there, if that makes sense. So we have a, a dead um, forest here is the, is the original picture, but I didn't want that, so I just added this picture for my, my backdrop, but still kept the trees in the background. Um, and then I added a level adjustment um, to all of those, um, those layers, um, just darkened it up a little bit. It was just a little too bright, so I just made a level adjustment and just brought my whites up down here, um, you can see if you take your whites to the left, it'll take the whites out, make it a lot darker. So that's what I did, just add a level adjustment and made the, the whole background a little bit darker. Okay, so the next thing I did is I added the door. So all I did was I cut out the door. So if you go into your, um, your um, image of the door, all you would do is just take a rectangular tool and just do a selection around that and then cut it out and then paste it right there, and that's what I did. And then what I did was I duplicated it, and then I um, I put it right below. So this is gonna be out of reflection. So all I did was I duplicated it, and then lowered it um, below the original door, and then I changed that blend mode to overlay, and brought the um, opacity down just a little bit, and then I added a layer mask, so it wouldn't go everywhere. It would just kinda go right right in there on the water. So that's what that looks like there. And then for the actual door, um, the bottom of it is very, very sharp. You can see that. And so since there's like little grass and, and weeds and leaves and stuff, I just added a layer mask to that one. Um, and you can see, let me zoom in. So I just painted out a few little 
spots here and there. So you can just take any little brush um, and just and just kind of draw little things down there. So it doesn't look like it's you know completely solid, um, flush, straight, um, hard edge on the ground. It's actually how the, all these leaves and stuff are popping up through it. So that's all I did. Just use a layer mask for that. Um, and then I changed the um, the um, the color of the door. So I went to my my levels adjustment and I just kind of made it a little bit more red um, and a little bit more magenta in color. And then I changed the vibrance and I made it go down because that was that was way too bright. Um, the color is fine, but it was just too bright. So I went to a vibrance um, a vibrance adjustment layer and then I just brought down. Um, the level of saturation and, and uh, made it not quite so colorful. And then after that, I went below the door layers and then I added a shadow. So all I did was just add some dark colors right here under the, um, the door because we're going to have a glowing door, so it's going to cast a little bit of a shadow. So I just put a little dark colors, so that's what you see there. And then, um, since we're going to have a glowing door and the door is kind of coming from the um, the center of the picture, what I did was I took a white brush and then I just drew a, a nice soft little cloud. This is just using a, a very basic white brush and uh, just drawing a nice white glow right behind the, the door. So all of the, the glow is completely behind the door layer. Okay, so that's, that's what we did for that. Um, then the next thing we want to start to do is start working on the actual glow of the door. So I have this layer right here called pre-glow. And what I did with that, let me show you here. So before you do the really bright glows, I do something called a pre-glow. And all I do is take a, just a, a light orange um, um, color and then I paint some, some really soft oranges right here at the, the crack of the door. And then I changed, and so this is what it would look like, just this, just this orange, orange color that I put right at the, the intersection of the two doors. And then I changed that blend mode to screen, just to make it a little bit brighter. And then I did it again. Um, so then what I did was I made a, another orange layer right on top of it, and then I changed that to overlay. So it makes the, the, the colors a lot more vibrant. So that's all I did for the pre-glow, it's just, uh, two orange layers of light right on top of the door. One is screen and one is overlay. Okay, and then we can do the actual the actual glows. So what I did was I created a new layer and I made sure that blend mode was at color dodge. And then on color dot, uh, now that the whole group is in color dodge, everything that you add in here is going to be extremely bright. So what I did was I just I drew a straight line down here of white um, right in the center, a really skinny line of white, so you can see what that looks like. And then I added some reflections down here, so I used like a little orange color, and uh, I drew some reflections down here in the water because there's a little stream. And then um, I just added a few more little um, details here, just little light glows. Um, so that's pretty much all I did for there, just a white line. So a white line and then reflections in the water, just painting some little bright speckles, and then um, some other little details there. So that's your, your door glow, your big glow right there. All right, then I added, on top of everything, I added a, um, a gradient map. All I did was a, a dark blue to a, a grayish color. Then I changed that to overlay. That adds a lot more um, contrast to the picture. You can see off and on. You see how much more contrast that is. And then I added a, um, a dark multiply layer, so a black to white gradient map, and I changed it to, this is what it would look like with multiply, but that's way too dark, so what I did was I just masked out the places that I wanted it to be dark, which was mostly on the edges. And then finally I added just a, a very colorful radial gradient, um, just a, a yellow to blue um, to kind of vignette the whole picture, and um, that's pretty much it, guys. So. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's pretty simple to make. Um, I here's all the layers that I did. You're welcome to uh, try to copy this, make your own picture. I'd love to see what you come up with. But thanks for checking this out, and check back.